Today on Pollen Weather, pollen levels are mostly looking great. Mold, on the other hand, is not quite as good. Welcome to Pollen Weather by PollenWise App. It's Wednesday, October 21st. I'm Landon Bunderson, and this is the place for daily allergy news and forecasts. A mixture of rain and snow will persist in the northern Great Plains and upper Midwest this morning, and fire weather continues to plague northern California. Looking at last night's overnight lows, we got more frost in the northern states. North Dakota and Montana got into the 20s. That'll zap the weeds. Just a reminder, if you're watching on YouTube, like and subscribe. Over on Pollen, we're forecasting some very high pollen in Montana. That's sagebrush because the quinopods should be toast by now. And also very high pollen along the coast of Lake Michigan in Wisconsin. Also, northwestern Utah has some very high sagebrush levels. The rest of the country looks great. Let us know in the comments if you're seeing something we're not. Mold levels will be very high in Oklahoma and Missouri, as well as parts of California and Phoenix today. Over on the standard air quality maps, basically the same as yesterday. PM 2.5 is in the red in Colorado and California. NO2 is high in Los Angeles, greater New York City area, Phoenix, and San Francisco Bay. Today's feature is the highest and lowest pollen concentrations for the last seven days. Keep in mind that this is not forecasted. This is actual. Our top city was Des Moines with a high of 99 on last Wednesday. That was a 9 p.m. peak. A sneaky peak. Washington, D.C. had the lowest high, a 29 on the index. That's what we want to see this time of year. That's it for Wednesday. Thanks for listening. Remember, you can find previous episodes on the Pollen Channel on YouTube. If you're watching on YouTube, check out the PollenWise app, the only place for real hourly pollen and mold counts.